Hi, this is Heather Kate from Peacock and Paisley. I'm a spiritual coach for the creative soul and particularly helping people to increase their intuition um, and also um, identify and leave abusive relationships and then heal afterwards, particularly narcissistic relationships. Lots of fun there. I have a great group, um, which you can find through the um, Peacock and Paisley page on Facebook, and it's actually called Narcissistic Abuse Recovery. Um, and one of the questions that somebody asked recently was, how do you deal with head games? Well, that is the name of the game with a narcissist. It's all about a head game. So um, the answer is easy and simple, but the actual doing it is c complex, and it involves importantly working on your intuition and getting grounded getting centered regaining your footing knowing where um, you are and getting on solid ground so that that narcissist can just go swirling all around you and um, and it doesn't affect you the way that it, it maybe has been if things have if you felt like you've been inside the tumbler of a, a washing machine or caught by a really big wave um, and you don't know which way is up or down or left or right you know which what direction do you swim to go towards the shore when you're in a big wave like that you have no idea and um, and you're basically trying to hold your breath the whole time and pray that you don't get smashed against the beach and in the meantime you're feeling sand which is scraping you but it's actually a sort of a good sign because you know you're getting near the beach it's a mess but you can do this you can absolutely do it um, one of the things that you want to do is clear away any kind of mental or emotional clutter you want to know that you are doing your thing let the narcissist do their thing just let it go on and let it pass on by um, but ultimately if you are in a relationship like a love relationship then you're gonna need to let them go which sucks and you may not be emotionally ready to do that but you've got to weigh um, your safety and your well-being whether that's your physical safety your spiritual safety your sanity um, because it can feel like you're going crazy there you're not crazy necessarily but um, they do have a type of disorder narcissism is not just about somebody who's obsessed with their appearance and you know and fundamentally underneath that insecure um, pathological narcissism like somebody that's uh, has a narcissistic personality di uh, narcissistic personality disorder um, they can be very dangerous they can be deadly um, and um, they're extremely insecure uh, you know if you're sort of lucky enough to know their backstory and you're wondering if they're a narcissist or not one of the things you might want to look for is in their early childhood there may have been things that happened to them that um, really scared them or made them feel um, beyond invalidated that their existence was not necessary within their family and their world um, and then usually additional bad things happen and it's complicated um, but since what we're dealing with in this video today is um, how do you deal with the head games the initial answer is get really focused on who you are and what you want and what you need so even though you may be an empath you may be highly sensitive you may be a very kind and loving caring person who's willing to go to the ends of the earth uh, for somebody that you love and maybe even for strangers and things like that you know if you're you're really kind and sensitive it's not just about one person but if this person is harming you with the way that they treat you then it's time to reconsider um, um, because you are an important person you 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 are an important person and you need to be here um, you're here at an important time in the world um, and the divine is here to help you so um, I um, help people to connect with their intuition with the divine um, and I'm sort of ecumenical about that um, uh, there are lots of ways to connect with the divine but it's really crucial to connect with your intuition um, so 
to that end, I hope that you will perhaps um, get in touch with me. I would love to talk with you for like a 15 minute um, connection call because I'm putting together a course and I would love to know what is most helpful for you. Um, uh, it's going to be an online course and um, there will be a number of different aspects to it, but I, I want to know what format works for you, um, how much of a time commitment, how long of a commitment you're interested in, and what particular topics you're working on, um, including, you know, what type of relationship um, the narcissist is to you. You know, is this somebody who's a partner, a spouse, a lover? Um, is it somebody you've been dating? Is it um, your boss? Is it a family member? Is it a parent? Um, all of these have kind of slightly different approaches um, that are, are helpful and I want to be able to provide the best information for you. So I'd love to hear from you. Um, and um, tell me what's going on for you. So again, you can find me through peacockandpaisley.com. You can also find me on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.